Right, you guys, we're going to have to do quite a bit of jumping around, so I apologize that for that, but I, um, if I was able to organize all this um, by section, then I would, but uh, just with, uh, hopefully you can tell there's quite a bit of stuff, and with time being an issue, um, we'll just have to jump around, so hopefully all of them will be uh, interesting, and thanks everyone for my comments that I've been receiving, I appreciate that. So we'll start over here, and this is a repaint of the Night Adder that originally came out. Um, also, I believe for Valor vs. Venom, they just repainted it. And the Night Adder is what you call the vehicle right there. And the pilot, of course, is a repainted Wild Weasel. Instead of being black and red, he's more of a grayish and bluish, dark blue and black. Um, so I only have this one, but I do have the original Night Adder opened and everything. And then this was released as part of the Rise of Cobra line, but this is where it originally came from. I'm not sure if it's still called the Ice Saber, but you get Ice Saber with Frostbite, Valor vs. Venom. At the time, there was a mail away for a Storm Shadow where you could unmask him. Um, basically I had kind of like a hood type mask and uh, I do have at least one of him somewhere but he's of course still sealed in his vanilla envelope but there's frostbite and as you will see I don't know that I'm gonna get the one from the rise of Cobra just because I haven't really found it yet and then also I would have to compare the colors and see if it's worth it uh, mostly just because uh, I'm somebody who collects what I like and not always just because it's part of the collection. I know some people probably say, oh no, I need, this is what I still need to finish my 1984 series or whatever. But me, I'm just pretty much what I like. And with this newer stuff, um, there's not really too many big changes sometimes, so I can't justify buying something if I already kind of already have it. So anyway, with this one, we have this one. One, two, three, and then of course one is opened. Uh, the next thing we'll show is the Quick Strike, which is also from Valor vs. Venom. And you get it with Sergeant Bazooka. Of course, a different incarnation than the, his 25th anniversary figure or you know 80s or, or vintage and I have this one and a second one and the cool thing with finding out that I do have two of these and then of course the one open is because I need to uh, compare the two different antennas that I found and decide which one actually goes with this vehicle so that's definitely a positive for me for doing this video that will help me put the other one together and then I already did videos for this but I was just starting out then so hopefully I've gotten a little bit better or at least you guys have gotten to know me a little bit better so my videos hopefully are coming off a little bit better um, this is the polarizer with ghost bear valor versus venom I have this one and then one opened and the idea with Ghost Bear is he's supposed to be the son of Quinn, um, who's in that uh, comic um, where the 25th anniversary Snake Eyes, where he's in kind of a um, you know thick coat and then he's got kind of the uh, I think they're weasel like uh, bones around the neck or whatever. So anyway, so he's supposed to be the son of that Quinn character. And I have this one of course and then one opened. And then the G.I. Joe version that I also have a video already of is the defense mech with uh, Leatherneck, Valor vs. Venom. Different incarnation than we're used to with Leatherneck. Much younger and clean shaven and almost kind of more... Well, he still looks a lot like a Marine which I believe Leatherneck is so I, I yeah it's all right and the cool thing is 
Um, if you can, it's kind of tough now, even with these O-ring ones, to put them next to the 25th anniversary ones and later. But um, anyway, so there's that guy and the defense mech. And the cool thing is, I don't know if they're going to be the same size or bigger, but uh, Pursuit of Cobra is supposed to bring us more mechs. So um, that's kind of cool. And then this is a, another one, Valor versus Venom. And I don't think it says it anywhere here. Um, so I don't think this was an exclusive. But you get, um, I'm sorry, I still haven't recovered from holding this camera as much as I have. Uh, so you get uh, the red Hiss tank there. And a red Asp, I believe, or can never remember what maybe it says on the back so we'll look but you get uh, three Kranzman guards that are o-ringed but their helmets do come off so somewhat vintage look and also somewhat updated so they are calling it just a um, anti-aircraft gun tow hook so they're just calling this whole thing just an anti-aircraft gun. But I'm sure somebody will leave the comment, please, of how uh, what this vehicle really is. And just with all my information I'm trying to remember and, you know, trying to ignore the pain in my arm. <laughs> uh, so we have the Sting Raider with electronic, uh, electric eel, but this is a repaint. I don't believe he actually comes with... The electric eel spark plug that the electric eel came with originally. Uh, this is the Sting Raider, and it I don't know that it's called the same thing in the Rise of Cobra line, but this is where that vehicle is originally from. And I have one, two, three, four, four of those. And mostly because, of course, when you're buying these things, you don't know that Hasbro is going to re-release them. And, of course, at that time, I don't think we even knew about the movie yet. And then Sigma-6, after they went from Sigma-6, they went to the G.I. Joe Adventure Team. And this is where they used the Sigma-6 body. Um, and then pretty much tried to give us old-school uh, characters. So, like, this one, I believe, is Rakondo, and it is the Terror of the Swamp with that alligator there. And let's see if it says in the back. Kind of cool that they use the actual toy in the artwork right there. And then you get the little adventure that he's on. Um, but, yeah, so right there, you get Rakondo, Location, Australia. And Captive Crocodile is the mission, so definitely cool that they did this. Kind of too bad, but uh, hopefully they'll go back to this line someday. Um, and then this is G.I. Joe versus Cobra Rock Slide with Frostbite. And as long as my camera hangs in there, um, I'll just say T. Crotches, Hasbro, don't ever go back, don't ever make this mistake. Um, collectors after us, you know, hopefully will keep, you know, the fight going and say, no, Hasbro, don't go to T-Crotches. They only belong on Star Wars figures, if that, um, I don't know, maybe there's some people that like T-Crotches, but I'm not a fan of the T-Crotches, so no, no, no. And then there's the back. You know, they, the drawings were fantastic, though. I have to say that, um, and even some of the detail at the time was really rather good. So one of those, most likely one open somewhere, and we will go on to the next video. Alright, bye you guys.